Yeah, so welcome, welcome to this course on electric vehicle. So I'm Prashant Kumar Day and with the help of my team, we are going to present you this electric vehicle course. Uh, this is going to be an extensive course which will consist of the various theories. We'll have some calculations uh, as well. So I hope you guys have a bit of understanding about the uh, physics and I expect you guys to know the high school physics. Apart from that, we'll have uh, some of the some complex uh, calculations as well. Well, I'll, tr I'll try to start with the uh, simple mathematical problems. So a very basic understanding of the mathematics is also required for this particular course. Uh, and we'll see like uh, throughout the course uh, how things move. So this course starts for the very beginner as well. So if you're just starting out with electric vehicle or in the automobile industry and you guys have no idea, so this course is for you as well and if you guys are working for like let's say 10 years 10 years or 15 years in the automobile industry so this course is actually suitable for you guys as well so no learning is wasted by taking this particular course so let's start our learning process so how the course flow is going to be so we'll start with the introduction so as of now we are into the introduction section in this particular section uh, we are going to have the introduction to the course. Um, his, you'll see into the history of electric vehicle. Uh, we'll have an understanding of how the industry is flowing uh, in this particular sector uh, and how this electric vehicle, what is this electric vehicle technology, how this electric vehicle technology works. So we have a basic idea of that particular technology in the introduction section. We'll then move into the classification architecture. In the classification act architecture will have an understanding of various architecture like BEVs, HEVs, uh, PHEV, MHEV, we'll have REEV, we'll have FCEV. So we'll have this different architecture in details. We'll see in this uh, cl classification or doing the classification of architecture section. That's the section two. The, in during the, the section three, we'll have the operation modes. We'll see the operation modes. Then we'll have the sizing of elements. So basically, in the sizing of elements, we'll uh, do the sizing of elements of H uh, HEV and electric vehicles. Uh, will then understand this concept of hybridness which is quite important for us when we move on to the various other segments after this because after this segment a quite of calculations are going to uh, you know frequently come up and that we have to solve uh, particularly while this course is on we'll then go into the types and working principles of uh, motors we'll see the different motors like you know the pmsm motors PMDC motors, BLDC motors, and not forget the induction motor. Yeah. So we'll get into that. Like we'll discuss each and everything in detail. We'll then also look into the characteristics of uh, motors, basically individual motors and the traction motor characteristics that, that we'll be seeing through. We will then move on to the other section which is on the battery. So in this in this particular the section of the battery, we'll start with the introduction and the various types of the batteries. We'll see the how the manufacturing of the battery is done. Uh, since we are talking about electric vehicle, it's very important that we consider the environment aspect and you know when we talk about the batteries, basically the lithium ion battery or whatever the type of battery that we'll be seeing. The recycling is one of the major cons uh, concern okay so we'll see the battery recycling as well and then we'll see com some of the battery terminology like salt talk so uh, these are uh, very necessary for the further calculations as well then we'll move on to bms which is battery management system we'll see the design consideration of bms and then will have an understanding of the building we will see the under building block of pms then finally it will be controllers okay so let's move on to the next section so we'll this section 11 it will be canvas in this we'll see we'll understand what is the canvas and how this work and all those th stuff why do we actually need canvas 
and then we'll see the various types of the canvas we'll then go into the converters in and inverters uh, we'll have okay so between the rig and breaking and uh, you know the converter inverters we'll have one more section which i forgot to mention over here in the slide which is e differentials and after the e differentials uh, we'll have the rig and breaking we'll then have a uh, transmission section we'll then move on to the charger and the charging infrastructure uh, we'll also see the various charging modes uh, in that and finally while ending the technical you know the technical section we'll end it with the powertrain design the powertrain design and uh, finally a conclusion of what we have gone through throughout this section throughout the course uh, which is quite important as well so i uh, during this particular course will have one quiz as well so the questions from the quiz is a very small quiz of 15 questions uh, all the questions are supposed to be from the you know from the whole course that we have uh, that we are going to go through so you don't guys don't have to panic there will be some small calculations as well so uh, so i hope like you guys will be comfortable enough throughout the particular course and yeah i'm excited so i hope you guys are excited to take this course so let's start